So, um, who are you? <laughs> I'm Nate. We built this automatic chicken door here. Um, so basically, we made it out of garage door track to be uh, entirely basic on it. It's a little more intense than that, but <clears throat> so it's got a, gar a garage door track there. It's got ball bearings on here. Uh, with that, you can get seals, so you can seal out any rats or any vermin that want to come into the chicken coop. Let's see. We've got uh, aircraft cable just for pulley there. It's not really necessary, but I figured I might as well design that in instead of have to redesign it in later. 1980 Chevy pickup truck um, window winder motor, basically 20 bucks from the junkyard. A uh, little bit of homemade pulley system up here. Uh, it's something you might get involved with, or you can find out uh, maybe you can find a cable drum that'll do that. The whole system operates on a 12 volt battery system, just like your car does. This is out of a sea do it's non spillable, so you're not going to get battery acid into the chickens, <laughs> into the chickens' uh, food or water or anything. And there's the heart of it it's Arduino based, it's an OSEP Uno, and it uses two 12 volt relays for the up and down. Uh, basically to keep it simple and that's also aided oh. by the uh, window winder motor the way that it works is it just supplies power to each side of it and the casing grounds it some window winder motors are a little bit different you might need to add in a double pull okay. relay so if we back up to that then so ground is the just, chassis yeah, yeah the whole chassis is grounded and yeah. it the window winder motors grounded through mm -hmm. its casing and therefore, you only have to supply power for either of these, so up or down, on 12 volts, you supply okay. 12 volts to each so, so like for example, red could be, 12 volts on red could be up, and then 12 volts on black could be down? And that's what it is, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, however, other cars that you might get it from might be, these are positive and negative, oh. and you'll need to switch those, so you have to add okay. in a double pull relay, 12 volt relay. Right, okay. Yeah. So. And so you're using relays for yep. direction? 12 volt relays, all controlled okay. through MOSFETs. You'll see a couple MOSFETs in there, okay. uh, controlled by the Arduino. Yep. And uh, LEDs just for diagnostics and blinking. Okay. It uses two photoresistors. So it's two CBS photoresistors here. Yep. And therefore, when the sun comes up and when the sun goes down, that's when to operate the, the door up and down. Yep. Uh, the reason that there's two in there, so you can put them different ends so that it's not just falsely trip maybe you go out there with a flashlight or something that don't come up mm -hmm. and it's you know it, it gets a little in depth with the software but there's a few safeties there's a couple you know in case this component fails we've got a safety built in for like explicit timing so it doesn't completely run forever right um and then these are our limit switches so yep. they'll operate and they'll tell basically they, they, they communicate with the arduino and tell yep. it when to stop when to go and are those like garage door hardware or just these, uh, they're from Lee's. I don't know okay. uh, what their main purpose is, okay. but pretty straightforward little okay. on-off switch. Only open yeah. Really yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then... It's um, so like what you find in a microwave oven door. <laughs> yeah, that could work too. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you if you got some spare microwaves laying around. <laughs> and charge controller? For, uh, that is for the solar panel, solar which panel? is outside, outside, just to keep it uh, fully charged. It only goes up and down <laughs> once a day, so... Yeah. And there Big you have fuse. It. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I, I have to, I have to uh, put a on-off switch on still, hmm. and a manual up and down just for right. Yeah. Diagnostics. So you're gonna have like a, a Bluetooth thing or a Wi-Fi thing for. Yeah, through the internet, so I never yeah. have to even be home. <laughs> but for now, it's just uh, just running uh, dumb and headless. Yeah, yeah, so it wouldn't be too bad to put it yeah. in tomorrow and give it for the long weekend and see how that goes. Yeah, cool. Maybe there'll be a fire, maybe yeah. there won't. <laughs> maybe there'll be a headless chicken that looks like a guillotine. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, all garage door hardware. Uh, was there any traps in the in the hardware or software, things that uh, you wish you'd known before before you started? Yeah, just how, how this window winder worked. I thought mm -hmm. it was positive and negative, and they reversed. Yeah. So when I was putting, when I was putting positive and negative on there, it was really just causing a lot of problems. Right, so, yeah, I guess it would. Uh, we figured that out and, mm -hmm. and the way we went. And this is still a little... I probably would have gone with a cable winding drum instead of the ABS plastic. Okay, but, is this uh, like turned on the lathe or something? Or? No, it's just ABS plastic, so it's just kind of pressed on there and glued. So. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, and uh, this is welded on, so that's all yeah. kind of custom. You need this huh. to hold it in there because just yeah. the way that they operate. That's a worm gear, plastic worm gear on the inside. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. So is this a, a thin piece of ABI, ABS <clears throat> and then bigger pieces to yeah. make the, yeah. the sides of the ship? Yeah, and I might even okay. put a bigger 
piece of sheet metal right, hole yeah. sawed out on top of sure, that. Sure, sure, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what are the, the main logarithms in the in the software? Uh, when the sun comes up, it takes a average of the photocell re or the photoresistor reading okay. voltage just to make sure that after 10 seconds, if it sees it after 10 seconds, it'll say, now it's time to go up. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing, time to go down. So using like oversampling um, or a moving window or? Yeah, moving average. Moving average, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't have, I don't have one that's a, uh, once it hit, hits this, it goes up. Once it hits this, it goes down. I don't have that yet. That would also work. Uh, what do you mean by this? Like uh, once it, yeah, threshold, once it hits a certain threshold on the up, it goes mm -hmm. up, but it won't come back down until it hits a lower threshold. Okay. So let's yeah. say it hits 10 and it goes up. Yeah. But it might fluctuate around 10 and 9 for a while. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. It's got a name, but I don't know what that is. Hysteresis. Hysteresis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hysteresis. And then, uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, two main loops. It's got a uh, it's got a timer just for this that allows you to kind of like adjust this up and down. Depends if you get chicken shit all down in the, in the middle oh, there. Oh, yeah, okay. And so that's the bottom limit, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, and so, so it's, like it's, if the door goes down, and then so when you say timer, do you mean like a certain number of um, milliseconds before it, like after after the limit switch is triggered? Yeah, I believe it's okay. a delay. It's been a while since I looked at the. Uh, okay, program, sure. But, yeah. yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Is that it? Anything else? That is it for now. That's uh -huh. it for now. Until uh, until the future, All mass right. produce them in China and sure. sell them to every chicken farmer. What was your total prototyping budget for, for all this? Um, the budget was 200 bucks, but for some reason they spent way more, but I, I don't know why, because <laughs> I can look at the hardware here. Or I can look at the stuff here. This was 20 bucks. This was 20 bucks. The rest of it was free. Mm, free, good. <laughs> <laughs> and the electronics was what they seemed to get 200 bucks, but I think he was buying yeah. tools with it and keeping yeah. the tools, so, you know, <laughs> embezzling happens yeah. everywhere. Sure. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Two MOSFETs. Four LEDs, two photoresistors, seven resistors, two relays, and a bunch of wire, and, and a Arduino, which is really four bucks if you get the uh, Atmega chip. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers. Take care.